Hello, I am Cassandra and this is Cooking with Cass Rico. Welcome back for another recipe review. from Veggie Kins. I've reviewed one of her recipes before, the broccoli cheddar soup. That was her recipe, but at that time I wasn't very familiar with her yet. I just saw the recipe on TikTok and knew I wanted to make it. But now I can definitely say that she is one of my favorite food bloggers or vegan recipe creators. And I enjoy watching her YouTube channel pretty often now and her Instagram, TikTok, so I'm pretty much a fan. And I have made more things from her, but this time I am reviewing a new recipe that she just put out on National Corn Day. And it was her maple miso vegan butter bath corn. So maple miso vegan butter bath corn. So she says that this is a Japanese twist on butter bath corn, which I personally never had before, but who doesn't love a good corn on the cob recipe and just seeing how delicious and creamy it looked, I knew I had to try it. This is nut free. She says it's an inspired vegan take on hot honey. It requires six ingredients and only 15 minutes or less. So if you have some corn on the cob and you want to try something new with it, I highly suggest this one. It's pretty simple. You just need your corn, unsweetened milk, and to make it nut-free, you want to use a nut-free milk. She said she used oat milk and I chose to use soy milk. And there was one spice that I did not have, and it was the to Togarashi spice. Togarashi, Togarashi spice. I have not had it yet, and this recipe only requires a small bit of it, so I didn't think it was going to completely break it if I didn't have it. But as I've been looking more into the spice, I now know that I need it in my life, according to everyone else who has had it. So the next time I go to my local Asian market, I will be sure to pick some up and try this again. But anyway, I did, I made it without it, and I don't feel like this recipe was lacking in any way. You're just cooking the corn in this butter bath instead of water like you usually would and it's soaking all the goodness in. Because I've never had the traditional dish before, I don't have much to compare it to, but I was pleasantly surprised with how light it came out and the taste was very subtle, but it was perfect. It was creamy, it was sweet, it paired perfectly with the sweet corn and there was no overpowering, unfamiliar taste to it. I thought the miso was a very good touch to add some of that extra flavor that you want, and it really eliminated needing to use too much salt or extra seasonings. This corn was an, a perfect addition to our Sunday night dinner. I made impossible burgers. We paired it with watermelon and this corn just fit in so perfectly. And that is what I love. I love a simple dish with simple ingredients, simple instructions, but you're really just enhancing the flavor of the main thing you're using, which here we were enhancing the flavors of the corn. And I just love that it really didn't take away from the corn at all. We were surprisingly very satisfied with it. And honestly, it was just everything you could ask for when you're eating corn on the cob. It was creamy, it was buttery, it was sweet. It was the perfect 
recipe for corn on the cob. How do you eat it any other way now other than just, you know, drenching it with some cheese and hot sauce? But other than that, I think this will be my new way to make it. You're honestly just giving your corn this luscious, buttery bath. You're letting it soak in it, boil in it for a few minutes, and you got yourself a very great side dish. It was one of those things that, you know, you just look at the ingredient list and you're like, all right, I got all of that. Let me try this out. And it came out great. So check out her Instagram for this recipe. You can find pictures and a link to her blog, which I will also link in my description below. And I highly suggest checking out her channel on YouTube. It's super cute. Everything's pretty and she makes vegan food just look so delicious and simple, which is what we all want. And yeah, check out her TikTok if you're there. Veggiekins is the name and it is ran by Remy Park. Thank you for another great recipe. And thank you all for tuning in. I look forward to trying another recipe and reviewing it all for you. I am rating this one a 9 out of 10. And then once I get that togarashi, togarashi, once I get that spice, I will try it out. And I think it'll definitely just, you know, take it to the top 10 out of 10. But... If you enjoy corn on the cob and you want to try something different, check it out. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all again soon. Take care.